Dave here. I'm going to try to show you how to put some shadowing and some shadows on your uh, on your photos in, in GIMP. So I have GIMP opened up here and I'm going to drop in my background photo. Sometimes this will pop up so just click convert. Now I got my uh, little spaceship from uh, War of the Worlds that I actually cut this out earlier and just made the background transparent. I do have a video on how to do that. And I'm going to do this twice. Oh, I must have got a Facebook message. I heard that little Facebook sound. All right, I got them in there twice. You can tell if I uh, click the move tool. You can see there that there they are. So I'm gonna get them back in there. So first, I'm gonna take the top layer over here, right click, and I'm not gonna scale the layer for this one. I'm just gonna go down and hit Alpha to selection. Then in your toolbox click on your bucket fill tool and down here under affected area click fill whole selection and then just click in your uh, picture here go to select none now what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna hit my click on my eraser tool scale it a little bit bigger there's probably other ways to do this I looked on YouTube but I couldn't find any so this is how I figured out how to do it let me do that a little bit better Well, if you spend time on that, you can get a little bit nicer. Then I go to my uh, blur, scale that a little bigger, and just kind of smooth out the edges on it. I could have made this larger too, but. All right, now go up to filters, go to blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to set this up to around, whoops, to around 15. Click OK. Then I'm going to go to my opacity and just drop it a little bit down here. Just to make it a little bit darker underneath. There's without, and there's with. And I make it even a little bit lighter. Without, with. So I just darken that a little bit. Okay, now I go to layers on the middle one here and right click. Oh, wait a minute. Click on that and then down here, create, create duplicate of the layer. Then you go down to the one that's just above the background. Right click, add, well, alpha to selection. Do the same before, go to bucket, bucket fill, fill whole selection, click in there, hit selection, none. Then you're going to take 
your perspective tool over here and grab this line and then just drag it down a little bit there. you can fool around with that I've done them wiggling them around and then I'll move my shadow around also so I'm just moving it down right about there then over here hit transform Then what you want to do is before go into filters under blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to do 15 again then I take my eraser tool and just start erasing some stuff I don't want in there then you can take your move tool here also and just uh, Move that shadow. We want it. I'm going down here a little bit. Maybe I'll leave that little stem on there. I could take it off. I don't know if you'd see that actually in a shadow. Then I go to opacity. And just make a little shadow below it. Now here's another little thing I haven't seen anybody show. I'm sure it's out there like if I wanted to say if I had a shadow and it was um, not on the right angle there I just go to uh, layers I go to transform and you go to arbitrary rotation and then you can slide this little guy back and forth and it'll move that all over the place but I'm going to hit cancel because I kind of like where it was at. So that was kind of a neat move. And then if you want to add something else, you can go on to filters. Let me click. Let me see if, if this is the right one. Yeah. I'm clicking on my main uh, spaceship. Go under filters. Uh, under light and shadows. I go to a supernova. And then in this window here, you can just move this where you want it. If I want to put like a little, maybe there. So if I don't want it blue, I'm going to change that to white. In the radius you can bring it down if you don't want that thing real big and click uh, and if you want how many little spokes going out I'll just throw a couple more hit OK and I got like a little light reflecting off of that and then you just go to file and save as I just save them as a JPEG and I always click a hundred percent for the quality of the of the picture. Alright, that's uh, my little video on uh, how to put shadowing in. Alright, thank you.